Hey, what's up? This is Lon with a Platinum Quick Tip. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a great trick for easily and quickly embedding your Camtasia videos into your existing web pages. One of the things I get asked a lot via email or from my friends on the Camtasia Users Ning site is How do I embed Camtasia in a web page? Let me just quickly show you what is meant by embedding a Camtasia video. In Camtasia Studio, producing a video for the web generally means creating a flash output. And when that's all said and done, Camtasia spits out a number of files, including a HTML web page that displays the video. Very nice, but here's the thing. The video is all by itself on the page. Sometimes that's okay, but the overwhelming majority of the time what folks really want to do is take that video and put it or embed it on an existing web page or one that they're creating that has formatting and content, graphics, and whatever else. So how do you do that? Unfortunately, in the current version of Camtasia, there isn't a really easy way to do this and the current procedure goes a little something like this. Select, copy, and paste the production files to the same directory as your existing HTML page. Open the produced HTML file and the page you want to embed the video on in your HTML editor. Switch back and forth between the pages to copy and paste the necessary snippets of script code and the div sections with the object code, placing it where you want the video to appear. And that's it. Except miss any of those steps or the files and the video breaks. Fail to upload everything properly to the correct location on your web host. Busted video. Move the page incorrectly later or try to put multiple videos on one page and there is a really good chance of technical malfunction. You get the idea. Here's a quick and easy alternative that I use in lots of situations. Step 1 produce and upload the Camtasia production folder. When I produce my videos in Camtasia, I always create a descriptive name, all lowercase, no spaces or special characters. I choose a location on my hard drive and make sure that the Organize Produced Files into Subfolders box is checked. Click Finish and let Camtasia do its thing. Here's the produced web page and video. And if I open up the production folder, here are all the files that are created in their own folder. And this HTML file displays the video perfectly, every time, because it has all the code in all the right places, knows where all the required files are, everything. And that's the key. Did you catch it? It just works, every time. I like that. Next, I just upload the entire folder and all of its contents to my web server. And when that's done, if I open up the page from my web server, it also works great every time. In fact, while I'm here, I'm going to copy this URL to use in step two, which is putting that page in an iframe. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Dude, why did we just go through that exercise and how do I get the video on my web page? Ah, yes, herein lies the beauty. Let me show you. I'm working on a web page in the HTML editor I use, front page. Any editor you use that supports iframes will also work. Just place your cursor at the point you want your video to appear and insert an inline frame, also called an iframe. An iframe is really nothing more than a web page within a web page. So remember our works every time with no messing around video web page that came straight out of Camtasia? I'll set that as the initial page and paste my URL in. And then the page with the video will load into the iframe. I'm going to need to resize it 
so that the entire video and the player controls are visible. My video is 480 by 360, so I'll add a little padding on the width and even some more padding on the height because I need the player controls to show up also. I'll bump the margins way down, align it to the top, scroll bar set to never, and lose the border. Now I can preview the page and there you go. It just works every time. You might have to play around a little with the size to get everything to show up. Here's a quick tip for doing that. Sometimes I use the Snagit Screen Snapshot tool to quickly see exactly what those dimensions need to be. Just draw around the whole thing and Snagit will tell you the size you need. This is kind of handy, especially if you have videos with a table of contents you want to display. Now there are a couple of other cool benefits to using this tactic. Number one is that if I move this web page to another directory on my site, it still works because the iframe still points to the same source page. Number two, and this is kind of a biggie for me, is that the same procedure works if I upload the production folder to one of the new really highly affordable file sharing platforms like Amazon S3. I've uploaded the folder using the S3 organizer tool and I just set the access control list to read for the folder and apply to subfolders. Then right click the HTML page and copy URL pasting that in as my initial page. Now the video content is stored and delivered for a fraction, and I mean a tiny fraction, of the cost my web host charges for disk space and bandwidth. All served up compliments of the mighty Amazon servers. So there you have it, a nice versatile solution to this frequently asked question. I use it all the time to save time and the frustration of having videos break on me. Try it in your workflow and let me know what you think. Thanks and I'll see you next time. And remember, friends don't let friends make crappy videos.